Well, it's another month and it's the same old culprits that keep the CPI level high. It is Wednesday, November the 13th, and we received this morning the reading for the October Consumer Price Index. The reading came in as expected across the board. So at the headline level, it rose on a year-over-year basis 2.6%, and then on a year-over-year basis at the core level, it's still elevated at 3.3%. Now, when I say it's the same old culprits, that's because when you look at the details of what kept this year-over-year core level high was the service sector. So we saw energy prices come down again, energy commodities, but when you look at the services, you're seeing services X energy rising 4.8% on a year-over-year basis, slightly higher than last month's 4.7%. When you go to housing, that's right. That's rising 4.2 percent year over year. Again, we've seen a big jump in for the month as well, both in housing and the shelter, up four tenths after two tenths last month. When you look at owner's equivalent rent, which has a big contribution to to the CPI report, that jumped up again to 0.4 percent for the month. So year over year, that is ri- is rising 5.2 percent. The other big jump we saw was in energy utilities in the housing sector. They jumped 0.8% for the month. So on a year-over-year basis, they're rising 3.6%. So inflation has kind of stalled here. It's what we've seen in some of the other inflation indicators. The Fed's watching this. We still think the Fed will go another 25 basis points in December, but we still get a couple more economic indicator um, pieces of, of data before that Fed meets in December, including the labor market, tomorrow's producer price index, and then as well, the, the, the PCE deflator that we'll be looking at in the coming weeks as well. That's all we have today. If you like this hot, this podcast, please subscribe, hit that alarm bell, share with friends, family, or colleagues. And if you'd like a history of our podcast, you can go to marketswithmegan.fm. Thank you.